All right, hello once again, YouTube. Welcome back to more from the depths. Today we're going to do what I said I would. We're going to build a medium bomber. To be a larger bomber that goes higher up than the uh, than our light bomber goes, and will basically be raining down constant attacks from above. Uh, it's the idea. So we're going to get on it. I want a larger bomber as well. Uh, yeah, we can actually probably keep the fuselage quite narrow, though. I think we'll keep it quite. We'll keep it. A, some width, but we'll have it slope up. I'll tell you what, let's actually try this. How this looks. Let me go. That'd be alright. We'll probably thicken the hull, but. That's uh, what I think it is. This bay, this will be 90% bomb bay. We'll have a cockpit at the front. Maybe separate off the back and have the the AI and stuff just here. And then we'll have a, a tail. And we'll have the wings and we'll have twin engine again. But we'll maybe build some slightly more uh, some slightly more solid engines because we had some problems with that on the original on the on the light bomber. Right. Uh what is the best way to do this? I think we can maybe even do um take some of the uh, stuff we learned from the I was gonna say from the ship and apply it here, but I'm actually not so sure. Build it so sure because of that. So we can do that though, right? Hmm, hang on. I'm sure one of these will work for this, or it might even be. No, we can just use those, can't we? Chair. Raise it up a bit so you can see out of it, but have the seat there, the troll bait. And then the fire clock bits inside. Okay. We'll have this be mostly glass, but we'll spot the sides to give it as good an angle as possible. Something froze there, and I'm not exactly sure why, but okay. Oh wait, did the ship decoration that had a bulletproof glass? Am I remembering that right? I am not at all. I have no idea why I thought that. Okay. I'm not feeling one of the mods maybe does. Yeah, we'll reinforce that a little bit and we'll give you a little bit of protection from attack from above. Uh, but primarily this armor from below, if anything, might be the main armor focus for this one. Yeah, let's also Chop open the bomb bay now so we know how much space we've got to work with. Yeah, if we do three long down the middle, but we have it quite long. Yeah, okay, that should be able to drop quite a lot of bombs. We don't want to put too many in because the bays themselves are expensive, but we could potentially expand it if we have to. Right. Then we can basically have a, a narrowing tail from here. To be quite skeletal, even, but not really a problem if it's hard to hit. Um, very roughly basing this off an image of a uh, bomber I found. That's not any particular one. We might even fit a, uh, a turret back there. Hail mate, turret. Let's go. Got to make sure we get the wings the right way up this time as well, because that's something we've had trouble with before. Should be about right. Tail. The vertical tail plane. Be effectively the same. A bit larger. Right. Actually, no, we'll leave that short because we might put the uh, 
uh, mechanism in there. Okay, and then we need the wings. Can we mount these? We might even mount these off the top. That might look alright. If we go, they're going to be probably about there. Quite how long they want to be, but we'll go with that for the moment. It wants to be straighter, right? It probably looks a bit strange being that um that kind of slope. Where's the Hmm. It's like that. Try actually using these wider ones this time. Right. Here we go. Yeah, because I want the um too wide. If we go um Two, one, one's fine. Okay. Don't need huge roll control surfaces, but we'll put them here. Uh, just at the wing tip. That makes most sense. Yeah, so I've said about this, saying like, oh, I'll put your, your wing surfaces at the end, they'll get the most um, roll. And it's like, yeah, I agree. Uh, if anything, one of the reasons I wasn't was maybe because I was having some flashbacks to Kerbal, where if you put them right at the edge, it's sometimes too much, if anything. They, um, they're actually too powerful, if anything. A lot of the time. Right, uh... So, point 0.5 if third, isn't it? Yep. Control setup is set for the wrong thing, so let's change it over quickly. Should be H and K to do the roll. They're maybe not set right then, just yet. Oh, I really don't like the profile of that wing. I do not like that at all. It looks too... Mon's not even the right word. It just doesn't look good. Um, put the rear... I'll put the tail in and the tail plane and see how that looks. the uh, controls quickly as well. Pitching up. Works. Pitching down. Works. Your work is intended. Roll. Roll is not working. Why is roll not working? Uh, that's because you're on the wrong thing. 
Yeah, that's right. And you would presumably be the minus of that. Yeah. Cool. Controls are correct. I might even fit the actual functional engine in the back so we can have a slightly larger one and then so that the ones on the wings look good. It's a little cheesy, but... Do I want to do that? We've been doing physical wings for everything else. You know what? I don't even like this wing anyway. Tell you what. Shot the wing there. Let's build those engine pods. And we'll build the engine pods a little larger than normal. And then we'll do the rest. I really didn't like how those wings were coming out. Right. Um... Here we go. Like this, make it a bit wider than normal. A little odd, but it should really be round. But I don't. There's a great way to do a round one that's bigger than a uh, three by three by three without making them like five by fives, which will look a bit too big. Um, Radiators on it, and we'll have them be injection fed. So is that right? But yeah, I think that's right. Oh, uh, it also needs some resources on board, of course. Uh, okay, I thought I'd left the cargo bay. Maybe we'll put those that sort of thing, like the ammunition, in there behind the cockpit. Got at least a bit of armor to protect it there, I suppose. Radiator is there, and then another injector. These would probably be tremendously too powerful for what they're actually needed for, but it's fine. And then. Uh, I guess we do those, right? Yeah. Does that look like an air intake? Sort of. What about the... Let's see if that would look like an intake of some sort, but it doesn't look quite right. Could also do the other way around. Hmm. We'll put something in there. Maybe a pipe? Let's think of the deco while we're here. Um, where's the steam engines? No. Yes? No? Oh, actually. Yeah, that looks alright. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad like that, actually. And then we'll do our normal uh, tipping it with the with deco jet. Uh, was it jet engine? No. Yes? What is it we normally use for those? A good question that I can't remember the answer to. Oh, it's a that was it. It's a steam engine part, isn't it? It's the uh, I don't know why we've got radial engines on all our uh, planes, but I guess we have. It won't be an actual one, it's just gonna be a decoration one. It will be uh, 0.95 in all directions. To there. There we go. And that kind of looks like a uh, nice little mechanism of some sort. And we'll go propellers. We'll do. Not too big. What's the max power usage? Why are you going backwards for that matter?
Oh, the audio's being weird. That's because like, the engines are cutting out. Might be actually, yeah. Uh... Shorten the blades a little bit because it was using out quite a lot of power. We'll shorten them to one meter. Which each of them using now? They are using the majority of the plane's power between them. Am I on board this one? Yeah, why aren't the controls responding? Oh, because I'm using the wrong ones. Ah, right, yeah, because we're in plane mode. Controls are different. Okay. Let's finish off them wings now, then. Yeah, what we might do is we'll do a short straight piece with the controls on it, and then we'll maybe use a bit of rotation to uh, do like a, a slightly upward slanted wing, I think. A little bit like one of the reference ones I've got up. That's I think that'll look quite nice. Uh, right. So we want one meter long there. We'll just have a four meter roll control surface. I don't think they actually need to be very big. They do seem to be very potent. Um, bit there, and then we'll put a okay. strip of those on the other side. Three meter. 0.5 roll the right would be full elevation, which would... Hang on. That's right. That is correct. And then, same for you. 0.5. No. Uh, no, not that at all. Left. Cool. Go good. good. And let's make the... Yeah, we need the rotate bit for the wings. Uh, not sure what the best way to hide this is going to be, so we might even do... I guess we could do that or something, but... Kind of looks ew. Uh, where is it, actually? Where's that rotating part? What we want. Put it there. Uh, there. Wing. Oh, go forward though. Okay, I know what we can maybe do here actually uh, to make this look alright. this and uh, stick it on the other side, I believe. We go to angle control. Ten degrees or minus ten even. Yeah, that look, by the time you got that on it, actually, it doesn't look too bad. But what I might do is apply a um. pole there and then put something on it to make it look like it's doing something. I think there is a an end piece for that, right? Oh, actually, I know what we could use for an end piece for that. We could use a propeller hub. Hey, look at that. We put something on the end of it. Actually, it is solid. Then it'll just look like it's a, it's a part of something. Exactly what we could use for sexually. Where is yes? Uh, yeah, we want one of the tapers, don't we? There you go. 
looks like it's a part of something. I don't know what exactly it would do, but it's not a gun. We probably will fit some defensive turrets on this. I don't know if this one will have a direct cannon. This one's going to be focused entirely on the bombs. But yes, if we now do sub-objects mode... Let's be, uh... Ned Bomber Wing Built. Peace. I think we just pretty much stuck it on there, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. About the angle. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it's a little straight-winged, but... We may be, uh... Even... There we go. Could have had some deco. Uh, those masks actually pretty, would be pretty good for this. Uh, decorations. What was it? It was mask blocks. We need a taper. Which you might want even the. Oh, if we could do the. That look right. That's oh, not quite long enough for that. We've got an 8 meter one. We have. Yeah, if we were to go put it there and then no roll roll there we go yeah look at that actually looks like a uh... she looks like a uh, proper support that's meant to be there Oh, look at that. That looks so good. And then we could even apply, um, we say about doing a seaplane at some point. But now we'll just leave this one as is for now. Um, I don't know whether to redesign that tail or not. That kind of looks quite fragile now. Um, yeah, I think what I might actually do is redesign that a little bit, but we'll go that off there, that off there, that off there. This one be the one that flattens off. Like that. Yeah, that's alright. Not the best looking in the world, but it'll do. We can always neaten this bit up a little bit by going. How yeah, does this want to be? Like that, I guess. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it'll do. We're still in full reverse, apparently. Let's also uh, cap the back of these off while I'm thinking about it. Right. Uh, let's get the AI rigged up so this thing can, we can test this thing in flight and set it up. That's probably the next thing to do. Definitely need target prioritization. Not sure aim point is going to make any difference, but we'll f actually it might to the turret, so we'll fit that as well. Behavior, you are. Uh, yeah, you are attack run 2.0, and you are. Nope. We can fly, we can control altitude, we cannot remain stationary. Oh, 
Why are you trying to pitch down? This set wrong? Oh yeah, pitch up. Okay, the tail's got inverted somehow, but... Alright, maybe that is wrong. Okay, now it's ascending. Don't know what was going on there. Oh, it's because the... Oh, these are wrong. No, they're right. Is it going up? Why is it rolling like that? What is going on there? You're a plane, right? Actually, there's a... Yes. Let's try plugging the default card in. It does need to go into an actual card slot. Uh, oh, no, yeah, there's still space there. Tell you what, take out the aim point selection. It's not going to matter against aircraft. Bombing around airplane now, like... This is still being weird. We'll have to tweak it. Why does it keep diving? Is it the... Have we got upside down wings again? It's these wings, isn't it? I just realised they're... Um... Wait, no, that is... They're lifting up. What about the other wing? These wings are upside down. Okay. Do we know which way these are lifting? Oh, is that what it was? Hey! I think that was it. To 300. I'm going to say... No, not that much. 400. I want you to go high. Um, 50. Uh, you can turn quite steeply if you need to. Any additional routines you want? Nope. Oh, I said about projectile avoid. Someone else was saying about that. Triggers the E control axis. Yes, we could potentially use that to try and dodge stuff, but I feel like that'll screw up our bombing runs with this one in particular. It might work well with the fighters, but. If we set you two in god mode. Let's see where it actually goes, pathing wise. You've got to get really close, because you're going to have to go over it. Why is it diving? Yeah, maybe we do want it on 400. What is it doing? You're not meant to be... 
You're not meant to be ramming it. What are you doing? Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's walked itself again, hasn't it? Yes, up. I was because of the... Oh, I know what we can do. Minimum altitude above water. 350. Do not dive. <sighs> well, if you're going to die, do very little of it. Then if we do... That should be okay. There is a battleship. What do you do? Alright, we could all agree it wasn't supposed to have done that, right? What is up with this thing's AI? Why is it diving like that? What is it doing? I've literally set the minimum to not that, and it's still trying to do it. Yeah, collision avoidance, avoid everything. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go for banking turns. You can use, you can use like 45, you can bank quite sharply if you need to. Oh dear. Yeah, just stop firing. Just. Why is it diving? And I think that's pretty much the end of the episode there anyway. I'll probably call it there, but. Yeah, I might have to leave that one there for the moment because I can't work out why it's diving every time. So if one of you guys. I'll maybe do something else for a couple of episodes. No way, we'll be back to this soon. But if one of you guys could maybe give me a heads up on why it's doing this, because I... I can't see any reason it is diving, unless it's... Oh! There's one thing I could try, unless it's because it has no weapon, it thinks it's a ramming vehicle. I can't imagine this being the case, but... Say we give it a gun. Uh, the deck control. Okay, so we've given it a gun. Let's give it a all or nothing controller. Slap some ammo on it. Oh look, you're on now. Uh, oh, it needs ammo. Oh yeah, what's the limit? What's the limit shells this thing can take? Uh, 0.8. 0.8 at 75 mil. Okay. Yeah, okay, so stick with that. Oh. You can't make it up. How? Should I just cover this thing in rubber and use it as a ramming vehicle? Like... Up, out of the water. Uh, 
Uh, this always happens at the end of an episode. This always happens when I try to wrap up. Something goes horribly wrong and I have no idea why. Yeah. We'll leave that there. We'll come back to From the Depths in like a couple of episodes. I'll keep an eye out for you guys' feedback and we'll fix whatever's going on there. But something's... I meant to say, something's clearly wrong with the AI. I accidentally ended that a bit earlier than expected. Um, But yeah, something's going wrong there. So I'll wait for your guys' suggestions because I have no idea what's going on there. It's literally a plug and play card and it seems determined to kamikaze into something. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.